Well, that's a, a very good question. Um, right off the top, one would have to say that many of those who have fought God all of their lives wouldn't be all that happy in heaven, it seems to me. Um, if, if the enjoyment of God's holiness and the praise of His name and the wonder of His character, if these things are not really precious in the first place, then why on earth would such a person want to go to heaven? But there are more fundamental answers. Um, it really is important to see that hell is not a place where there are a lot of deeply sorrowful, repenting sinners who really want to turn from their sin and get out. Um, the Bible speaks of hell as a place where those who are filthy are filthy still. Uh, it, it's an alarming picture. There's no evidence anywhere in the Bible that people come to hell and actually repent and want to turn to the living God. Rather, it's going to be a place where for all eternity people are still defying God, still hating Him, still justifying themselves, still tearing down relationships, still being resentful, still nurturing self-righteousness in an endless cycle of brokenness and shame and guilt and defiance that brooks no repentance ever. Um, in, in that sense, there is an ongoing cycle of, of guilt and punishment that is part of what individual sinners still want. It's painful to say it, but it's the truth. Whereas the very nature of biblical Christianity is that God intervenes and breaks the power of this sinful cycle and gives a new heart and transforms people, frees them from their guilt, gives them a spirit so that there is the beginning of new life, new desire, new orientation, new hungers, finally consummated in a new heaven and a new earth, the home of righteousness. So you cannot really answer the question, why does God ever consider putting people into hell? Unless you put it within the much larger question of, of what is righteousness? What, what is sin? What is the connection between shame and punishment? And, and within that framework, what will be clear from all eternity, both for those in heaven and even for those in hell, is that God is just and is seen to be just. Even those in hell will acknowledge that for all eternity.